Today we're going to install the best newsletter and email marketing tool on the planet on your own server. It's free, it's open source, it's extremely well maintained and it's growing and it's amazing. You should of course use it, follow this tutorial and you will have this best tool in your stack. So first thing you need is you need one domain. So make sure to register any domain you want to have. Maybe you have a website already, so you can use the domain from your website with a subdomain to point this one to your Modic installation. You will find all the links to the GitHub in Modic, where to download it and so on and so forth in the description and also on our blog, hardmode.io slash blog in the tutorial on how to install Mautic 4. So the first thing is the domain and the second thing is of course a server. So if you don't have a server because you have a hosted WordPress or whatever, you need to make sure to have a web space or a server which is capable of running Mautic. I recommend using a VPS, it's amazing, it works great, and it's super easy. Earlier we used vulture.com, but vulture.com is actually not that cheap and it's actually not that great in terms of performance. So we found Hetzner, so we moved all of our servers, there are 16 servers, we moved all of them to hetzner.com, which is awesome and the support is great. It's available in Europe, it's also available in the US already and it's GDPR compliant and so on and so forth. So it's amazing. So you want to go to hardmode.io slash Hetzner and then you will be linked to hetzner.com if you would use our link, which is in the description as well. We don't get any money, but we would get, I think, 10 euros per signup in form of a voucher, which we can use for our servers. So if you use the link, thanks a lot. I appreciate this. As soon as you have your account, you can start your own project. And this is what we're going to do. You need your new project. So you would come here, click here. I call it tutorial and add this project. So now I have this project here. I can add new members and do stuff like creating a new server. So here I can say where I want to start the server. So I just do it here in Helsinki, that's fine. And Ubuntu 2004, that's the operating system we want to use. Then you can choose your server. I recommend taking at least two vCPUs and four gigabytes of RAM for Modic, but you can of course go bigger or smaller if you wish. I think this is the bare minimum to run it smoothly, especially if you have a little bit more traffic. If you have 1000 subscribers, it really doesn't matter. Take the cheapest one. I would just go here with CPX31 because then it's a little bit faster. Then you can put some other stuff in here. I recommend using the backups. Then you get a backup every day, which is amazing. Then you can have a server name and create a buy now. So to connect with the server, we need to have a terminal. So if you're on a Mac or on Linux, you can just go spotlight search and type terminal or go to your apps and find the terminal app. If you are on Windows, you need to use an SSH tool, which would be putty. It's free, it's very good. Let's connect to the server, which is SSH and then root at and then you need to put in the IP address and the IP address got built here, root at IP address and hit enter. And from there, you would just say, okay, I want to add this fingerprint to my computer so that it's safe to connect with this server. And then you ask for the password. So where to find the password? You go in here, then you go to rescue and reset the root password. And this gives you a new root password. So you have this prompt here which tells you that it actually worked. So type in the password and you're connected to your server, which is amazing. And from here, we can start doing our tutorial. You find on our blog the installation instructions. So go there and just copy line after line and put it in here. So it will look for updates and install the updates if there are some. 
then you would just take line after line and install all the important dependencies and the important things like the Apache server and MariaDB database. And then you come here to securing your database. You should change the secure password number one with an actual secure password. So just copy this, put it into an editor and change the password. And then you would copy all of that and put it into your server. Then we're going to install PHP 7.4 with all the modules we need for running Modic. There you are asked sometimes to press enter if you actually want to install the stuff. So you need to be there and hit enter from time to time. So make sure to read what you're doing actually, because then you start understanding what your server actually has installed, what your server actually did. You don't need to read it if you don't want to, but I just recommend reading is key in so many things in life. So the next thing would be to change the standard PHP settings. You can just follow this. You can change the settings to your liking as well. We approved all of them and we have a lot of servers running, especially Modic, because if you don't want to do this, you can just go to artmod.io slash manage modic and use the managed modic from our system, which is amazing. Then you don't need to do anything because we are doing everything for you. And then enable the web server and afterwards restart the web server to change all the settings. And then we are going to install unzip because we need to unzip modic and then we are going to install certbot. And certbot is used for our SSL certificate to secure our website and to secure the connection. After this, we're going to install, create a database and create a user with a password. So test one, two, three, four, make sure to change the password, test one, two, three, four, and copy all of that and put it in. And then you have your users and everything you need for your database. So now we're creating another folder which is called Modic. You don't need to call it Modic, but I would recommend this because then you can easily follow this tutorial. It doesn't make anything safer if you call it Modic slash one, two, three. Then we are downloading and installing the current version of Modic, which is 4.2. And afterwards we're going to delete the downloaded zip archive. So of course the version number needs to be the right one because 4.0 is not the right one. So I need to change this here in order to delete the thing I downloaded before. And then I'm going to install a virtual host file. And the virtual host file is actually there to show the server where to point the traffic. Therefore, we need to have our domain in place. Go to your domain name system, to your DNS, where you registered your domain and create a new A record. I recommend not to use the main domain because probably that's for your website. I recommend just to call it M because M could stand for marketing or for modic or for mail or for whatever. You can, of course, call it to your liking. And the value is the IP address of my server. So I Copy the IP address. This takes a few seconds. I can view the status here in Route 53 in Amazon. And as soon as this status is in sync, I can start using this domain. Now let's go back and create the virtual host file. So I copy this line, put it into my server, and this creates a new file. This file is a blank file, so I need to write something into it. So I'm going to copy all of this stuff here. And now I see, okay, the email address, of course, I need to change this to the, to the admin email address. And the most important thing is I need to change the server name to my actual domain name. So this is my server name. Now I can save everything. So now I have my virtual host file so I can enable my site. So I enabled it. Now I start the, the module, the rewrite module, because I need the rewrite module for my HTA access file to work. And then I can restart Apache. And now the page is there already, the leanleads.com. The site is here and it's not reachable because we need to have write access there. We don't need this yet. We only need to follow the tutorial, which would be to create the SSL certificate. I need to change the domain as well. So let's put this into the server. And there I need to put in my 
real domain. And now it looks for the domain. It looks if it points to the server. It asks me if I want to sign up to a newsletter. So I can type N, you can sign up to your newsletter. It's actually interesting. And very important is this message, congratulations. If you don't have the congrats message, you need to do it again, or you need to debug. Make sure to follow really every step. So, and the last thing is we need to give ourselves write and read permissions for the www data user and the www data group because that's the default user for apache you can of course change this so if you know what you're doing you can do that and now everything is done so let's go back to the page m.theleanleads.com and let's see if it finds it so Yay, ready to install. And now we're in the installer. Now we can put in the database name, the database username, and the database password, which we created before. So let's click next. Now it looks up the database. If it finds the database, it comes to the next screen. If it doesn't find the database, you were putting in the wrong credentials. Next step. In this step, you can connect to your favorite email sending system. I would recommend using Amazon SAS. If you use Modic managed by Hardmode.io, so managed by our company, we are sending everything with Amazon SAS. Of course, they cost something because email sending costs something. So if you don't have too many people, you can start with Gmail. That's totally fine. We have a tutorial here. It's currently only in German. It's going to be in English in the future as well. So let's hit next step. And now let's log in. If we did everything right, we're on the dashboard. So. Make sure to watch the next video. There I show you the next steps you need to do to run Modic successfully and free and create the most amazing experiences for you and your customers or potential customers and your leads. And we'll see you in the next video.